What's up, guys, and welcome to the Tim Sports Talk. And today we're talking about Mr. Stone Forsythe from the University of Florida left tackle. And he is a mammoth of a man. Uh, but yeah, I was looking at some some other people's mock drafts, seeing what they were taking. And they had us taking this guy in the fifth round as the first tackle that we would take off the board, which I think is too late for a tackle. But I was intrigued nonetheless to see, hey, maybe there is some, because it's such a deep left tackle draft. Maybe you can find some good talent later in the draft. And let's take a look. You can see him just just as a mountain of a human. These are other offensive linemen, and he's just towering over them. It's ridiculous because if you look at him, he's six foot eight, three hundred and seven pounds, thirty four and almost thirty four and a half inch arms, which is fantastic for a tackle. You want over thirty four inches. Um, you got a five fourteen forty. Meh, who cares? I don't care how how like how long it takes you to run forty yards. But the four six five shuttle is really good, and the seven four seven three cone drill is also really really good. Good lateral quickness, good quickness in general for Mr. Forsythe. And at six foot eight, three hundred and seven pounds, that's pretty incredible. And honestly, if we look here, and if you compare him to Morgan Moses, you can see a twenty yard shuttle was four nine five, and the three cone was seven nine three. So he's nearly basically a half a second faster on both of the lateral quicknesses. So Morgan Moses, pretty good right tackle in the league. This guy could be an interesting tackle as well. Looking at the film, I love him in the pass game. In the pass game, he is fantastic. You can do stunts on him. He picks those up. Fantastic. You try to bull rush him. He's got a big enough frame to handle it. He's long enough to handle the speed rushers to get him around the pocket. I, he, I thought he was phenomenal. I watched him against both A&M and Alabama, and he seemed to handle their rush. It doesn't matter if it was Christian Barmore or whoever. He could handle the rush, bull rush, speed rush, handle it all. Great, great, great in the pass game. But there's a reason a six foot eight, three hundred and seven pound dude is being looked at in the fifth round of the NFL draft. This kind of size does not go unnoticed, especially at the University of Florida, where Kyle Trask, a Heisman candidate, Kyle Pitts, top tier talent, Kadarius Tony, probably late first round pick, early second round pick. Uh, like there's a lot of talent there on that offense. This does not get missed. Okay. And so there's got to be a reason. And the big reason is, is I think he is terrible, terrible in the run game. He gets slipped off of so easily. He doesn't like when he's moving forward, I don't know what happens because when he's moving backwards, he seems to have it really in compact, good standing about him. But when he leans forward, I don't know if he's too top heavy or what, but this guy is terrible in the run game. And this is what he would have to work on big time if he wants to succeed at the next level because a lot of times he's blocking air. A lot of times he's on a dude and the guy is just able to completely you know, grab and pull, get around him super fast. Um, and that was his big thing. Sometimes, And also something I never want to see ever again if I ever – if I could never see this again, it would be I would live a better life. Stone Forth sites trying to do a cut block, <laughs> like it's just terrible. Okay, I saw him try to do it multiple times, and the the defender never fell. I mean, it was terrible. So no more cut blocks for Mr. Stone. But in the run game, it was very concerning, and you would wonder, like you know, you see Kyle Trask. He's not a very mobile guy, but he ran the ball a lot, and you could see why he doesn't get a lot of yards. It's because this guy, his left tackle struggled in the block game okay and that's unfortunate because this guy seems to, because he's so good in the past game like if you look here this is like another uh person's talk about it and they don't talk about how he's bad in the run game but here ideal role no sorry scheme fit pass heavy offensive attack with consistent launch point from the pocket pass heavy emphasis on the pass heavy they don't talk about it much in here talking about how he was terrible in the run game but you can see pass heavy attack offense and I did see something along the lines of that maybe the Chiefs would be looking at him um, I don't know if that's necessarily the best fit because Pat Mahomes is a little bit more mobile where you don't know where he's going to throw off like throw from he can try to get around but nonetheless I don't know like this guy is very interesting but I would not be interested as a Washington football team guy to 
have this be my only tackle drafted. Um, unless you really want to like extend Cornelius Lucas and kind of move forward with it, him and then use this guy as a swing tackle to be able to come in and replace Morgan Moses or Cornelius Lucas, um, I, I don't really like this pickup because uh, he is terrible in the run game. Uh, and he would have to. He has a lot to learn in that department. Great in the pass game, though. Seriously, phenomenal. Whoever we'd have back there, we could feel pretty good about him uh, being able to withstand in the pass game, but not in the run game. But Stone Forsythe, another interesting tackle. I mean, this guy is probably listed as like the twenty or twenty fifth best tackle, and he's an interesting guy. Very, very interesting dude. Uh, needs needs a lot of work. That's why such a good big guy is so late. But you guys let me know what you guys think of Mr. Stone Forsyth in the comments below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Also, in the description below, there's a Discord link. Come in and talk some football with us. And last but not least, there are donation links in the description below. If you feel so kind, you could donate to the channel. Stone Forsyth, 6'8", 307 pounds. Big mamma jamma. Maybe a Washington football team member. Maybe, maybe. And until next time, see ya!